Are you there? Are we connected? I said that too fast. Excellent. Truly excellent. Now, we may begin. First, you must create a vessel. Select the head that you prefer. All right. Now, I do apologize that the intro wasn't at the exact beginning of this. However, this is another Spotlight video. My name is Neo Tanner. Welcome to Spotlight. And this is Deltarune. And a somewhat official slash unofficial sequel by Toby Fox to Undertale. Uh, only chapter one's come out. So it's honestly starting off with a weird part of... You, the Earthbound ins inspiration that the Undertale had. And if you've been with this channel for a while, then you know that I did start a playthrough of Undertale, but I never finished it. I may or may not go back to it. I, if I do, I'm going to have to restart it, and I'd probably go the pure pacifist route. But let's continue on with this for now. Select the torso that you prefer. Gonna go with this. Select the legs that you prefer. Even though the legs are all the same, from what I can see of this standpoint, the legs are all the same. This is your body. Do you accept it? Yes. Excellent. You have created a wonderful form. Now, let us shape its mind as your own. What is its favorite food? Sweet salt. I'm gonna go with salty. Your favorite blood type. AB. What color does it like most? Blue, of course. Blue is the best color. Please give it a gift. Kindness, mind, ambition, bravery, or voice. Um. Ambition. Now, how do you feel about your creation? It will not hear. Love, hope, disgust, fear. Love. I love my creation. Have you answered honestly? Yes. You acknowledge the possibility of pain and seizure? Yes. Understood. Name your vessel. Uh, just name it Neo. Let's not. I don't really want to do a stupid name here. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to go to end. Back. End. I did I hit enter. What? Oh. There we are. We called it Neo. And what about the creator? My own okay. <laughs> Just gonna put Neo Tanner. I can't put a space. There we are. It's kind of weird doing this with the actual arrow keys. Neo Tanner. Excellent. Truly excellent. Neo Tanner. Thank you for your time. Your answers, your wonderful creation, will now be discarded. No one can choose who they are in this world. Your name is Chris. Hey, is that Toriel? Chris, if you do not wake up, you, we will be late for school. I will wait outside for you, all right? I'm gonna choose my 
don't get to choose my name, but I'm pretty sure I look like the way that, for the most part, that I chose. The drawer is mostly empty, except for a school cross-country shirt with a tear in it. It's a computer desk. There are many boxes under it filled with old books. There are CDs under the bed. Classical, jazz, and religious ska. There's also a game console. It has one normal controller and one knockoff one. It's a red wagon with a rusty bird cage in it. Looks like it's seen quite a few crashes. Closed door. It's a beautiful day outside. Don't like the fact there's no music right now. I see myself. The door is locked. It's only you. There are crayons in the drawer. Their labels have long faded and there's no green. Sad. There are many books. Tales of Snails, a storybook. Snails do not have tails, a scientific re <laughs> refutation. Can snails help your garden? Um, not really. And a signed copy of The History of Humans and Monsters by Gerson Boom. I didn't mean to go up again. There's a photo on the fridge. It's of you, your mother, and your brother. There is some white fur stuck in the drain. There's some cin cinnamon batter caked on the stovetop. Cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters and gingerbread humans. I already read that. It's a trash can. Somehow, it's emitting a pleasant floral scent. It's a landline phone, but you already have a cell phone. It's a TV. It doesn't seem to even be plugged in anymore. It's a book of hymns. Chris, there you are. We might still be able to make it. Chris, it's a beautiful day today, is it not? I hope it stays this way when Azrael visits next week. But I wonder, after the excitement of uh, university, will you still enjoy coming home to this little town? Is Undyne a police officer? Going to school. Ah. I'm not doing that. I'm going straight to the principal's office or something. Oh, hi, Alfies. So does everyone have a... Uh, oh, Chris, so we thought you weren't coming today. We're just doing group projects this month. Uh, so walk around and find a partner, okay? Do you get to actually pick? Ah, Chris. Late again, I see. Hmm, you need a partner? Sorry, I'm already partners with the second smartest student. Though, wait. Chris, now that I think about it, your unique skill set might help a lot on this assignment. Pfft, not. I actually want to get an A. Hey, Chris. What's up? Did you lose your pencil again? Yeah, you want the candy cane one or the one with the lights on it? Huh? You want any partners? Um, sorry. Barely already asked me. But I could ask Miss Alfie so we could make a group of three. I'll ask you if you're sure. Yeah, I'm sure there's someone else that you can ask. This guy on his cell phone over here. Click, click, tap, tap. Taken. Chris, you know Jockington and Caddy are always partners. Uh, we're the ultimate ac academic duo ever since our first gym class. It was a hula hoop day, and they ran out of hoops for us. So she used me instead. That's our origin story. Partner? I hardly know her. <laughs> what do you think of that one? Funny, right? No? Well, I got news for you, pal. I already got a partner. Scram! 
Yo, Chris. Show up earlier next time. I ended up having a partner with Snowy. <laughs> now he keeps turning me and uh, saying howdy, partner, and like a cowboy. You want to partners? Yes. Okay, I'll go ask. Selfies, um, is it okay if we have a group of three? <laughs> hey, what? No, I do not approve of this. Abort! What? But, but Chris does not have a... Noelle, what were you saying? She was just saying we're fine being alone. Uh, actually, I just want to know if... No, Noelle, can you please speak up? Uh, hi, Susie. Yeah, am I late? Uh, uh, no, no, you're fine. We were just uh, choosing partners for the next group project, and uh, um, Susie, you're with Chris. Great. Now, now that everyone's here, I'll write up the assignment. Where is where is Susie gonna sit? Because there's not an extra um, desk unless we're gonna be sharing a desk. Uh, has anyone seen the chalk? This is the third time it's gone missing, and you, you all know I can't start class without some. Uh, how about this? If no one speaks up, everyone gets in trouble. Uh, anyone? Please? Uh, hey, there might be a box in the supply closet. Miss Alfie's, why don't Susie and I... Uh, good idea, no Noelle. Susie, s since you came in last, why don't you go get it for me? Whatever. And Chris, can you go with her and make sure she um, actually gets it and um, stays out of trouble? Thanks, Chris. See you later. You're really going hard on this I don't have a choice thing. That's a cigarette, ain't it? Oh no, you ate the chalk. Chris. Didn't you see you there? Hey, you didn't see anything just now, did you? You can't even say? Chris. Hey. Let me tell you a secret. Quiet, pe quiet people piss me off. You think just because you don't say anything, I can tell exactly, I can't tell exactly what you're thinking? It's over. I caught Susie eating all the chalk. This was her last chance. Now she'll finally be expelled. <laughs> Come on, Chris. Don't act shocked. You know it's true. Everyone's waiting for it. Everyone wants it. So congrats, Chris. You got me. I'm done for. Just let me say one little thing. Seems like a waste to get expelled just for having a snack. So, Chris, if I know you're going to pull the trigger, <laughs> why don't I just get expelled for some real carnage? Chris, how do you feel? About losing your face. Nah. Chris, you've got a good mother. It'd be a shame to make her bury her child. Alright, let's get this over with. We'll get more chalk, mosey back to class, and then Chris. You'll do our project. How's that sound? Oh, don't bother answering. If you haven't gotten it by now, your choices don't matter. Let's go, freak. Really driving the choices don't matter thing. It's a, God, can you walk any slower or what? Nah, I get it. Not used to walking around without someone holding your hand? Come on, freak. Kind of rude there, Susie. Well, here's the closet. Too bad. You're just starting to have fun. Hey, Chris, is it me, or is it really dark in there? What, are you afraid of the dark, Susie? 
What's the holdup, Chris? Are you gonna go in or what? Fine, if you're gonna be a wimp, then I'll... We'll both go in at the same time. See? Why are you so scared? There's nothing in here but old papers. Let's try to find the light switch. That's weird. I can't find a switch. Guess it's further in. This is a deep-ass closet if we're going further in. Uh, kind of big for a closet, huh? You think we'd have reached the end by now? Hey, Chris. I think this closet's, uh, broken. There aren't any walls. Well, we've worked hard enough. If Alphys wants chalk so bad she can get it herself, let's split. Is there... Okay, I was gonna say, is there not gonna be a door? Uh, what the? Hey, this isn't funny. Let us out! Let us... The floor. It's... And we're falling. Okay. I'm in a different outfit. Oh, can I save here? At times, you see it flickering. The light only you can see. By second nature, you reach out and... File saved. Alright, we reached here. So, I'm going to go ahead and end the Spotlight video here. That This is an interesting sequel to it. It's made by Toby. I'll link the actual website for Deltarune in, in the description below. It's pretty cool. I'm going to probably play more of it. And uh, I may end up actually streaming the game. Um, I'm trying to look for more games to stream. And this definitely seems like a streaming game. So, I will see you guys in the next video. You have a good day.